Hey guys, so in this video series, I'm going to continue talking about regression models. And I know I left this off a few months ago and we talked about ARC and wanting to understand if it was a value or growth fund. Well, in this video, I wanna continue with that discussion and since, you know, ARC's been talked about a lot in the news recently and try to understand, okay, what type of holdings do they truly own? And there's two ways we can go about this. Well, one way you could look at the specific holdings inside their portfolio and you know pick out this is an energy company, this is a technology company, etc. Another interesting way to go about this is use regression. And we can use we can understand the variability of the returns in the ARC portfolios versus the variability of returns in different sectors. So we can determine, you know, what type of investments are they are they choosing just by looking at the return differences of their portfolio. So let's take a look at how we can go about doing this. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Pandas data reader, again, the importer data, and import Pandas as PD and NumPy as NP. That's going to help us do our computation like we do in many of our other videos. So we'll import that. I'm going to use data reader, data reader to pull in our data. So we're going to pull in ARC. And if you notice, I'm going to pull in several different types of funds here. Um, these are all Vanguard funds that for specific sectors or industries. So I'll have a list right here. So you can notice we have VOX, that's communication set services. We have VCR, consumer discretionary, consumer staples, VDC, VDE for energy, VFH, financials, healthcare, industrials, information technology, materials, real estate, and utilities. And the reason why I chose Vanguard is because you could have used other specific products out there like iShares or State Street X Spider pro products. Um, but the good thing about Vanguard is they look at every single market capitalization from large cap to small cap. So that's why I like these. Um, and also there's something important that we need to consider is multicollinearity. And I've, I've, in some other videos, I go into more detail about this, but specifically we need to make sure that there are not cor correlations amongst the different types of var independent variables that we're utilizing. And and basically these need to be appropriately separated from each other so communication there can be no there shouldn't be any securities that are correlated in the communication services sector that are the same or correlated with the consumer discretionary sector and, and vice versa and specifically with energy versus financials these should be separated uh, basically this the stocks and energy should be the stocks and energy there shouldn't be the same stocks in the en energy sector ETF as the financial sector ETF. Okay, so enough about that. Let's go back to our code here. So like I said, we're importing our data, uh, our Vanguard data, our different ETFs, our, our funds, and we're importing the ARC funds. So we can take a look at that data. And I wanna look at the adjusted close data. And just a, let's just quickly look at what those, what that looks like. So you can see all the prices but I want to do percentage changes on that. So we're going to do percentage changes. So we're going to look at other percentage changes so we can you notice all the returns, daily returns. These are daily returns. Finally, I since I want to avoid any issues with the data in terms of its returns for, basically I want sy symmetry amongst with returns. And I talk about this between arithmetic returns versus log returns in another video. I want to find the log, the natural log of those of those returns. So I'm going to use a lambda function to get the log, and like so. So I have log returns, and there's good reasons for using log returns. I talk about it in another video. I'll, I'll put a link to it for it. So let's look at log returns. Now we have the log, daily log returns for each of these funds. Now we can actually do some computation. So let's just uh, let's just plot this out to say take a look. This is not very helpful for us, but let's look at a covariance matrix here. That's more helpful. So we can look at the relationships among these different funds with with each other. They should have, um, they should be not. They should have less correlation amongst them. Um, they should be non-correlated. Let's look at the correlation matrix. So, for example, what I mean that well, healthcare VHT should be not have a very strong correlation with V with VFH, which is financials, right? So VHT, VFH, 0.72. So it's not it's not 100 correlated right and correlation is showing a number of anywhere from negative one to one so that's good 
when building out our regression model. So those are things that we have to check for. Um, now I'm going to import some other libraries here. And again, if you're interested in the regression and how we determine these variables or what, what are the right independent variables to be utilizing, please check out one of my other videos on regression um, where I talk into more detail about heteroscedasticity and multicollinearity. So again, what I'm doing here is I'm importing stats model of the API. It's a library that's going to help us do our regression. And Patsy import the matrices. That's going to help us better visualize or import our data. This line here is utilizing this library, D matrices. And I'm, again, what I'm doing here is I'm taking our dependent variable, which is ARC, and I'm regressing, regressing it on our independent variables, which are all our di different sector funds from Vanguard. Okay? I'm in, you're taking a parameter right here, log returns, and this is a data frame. So you can see our, you can actually see our Y variable, dependent variable here, which should be ARC. And you can also look at our independent variables here. And it adds an intercept here. We're going to use ordinary least squares regression. So we're going to use sm.os, put in our variables, build a model. We're going to fit that model. And now we can look at the results. So let's take a look at that. All right, so you notice the R squared is 0.72. The, the adjusted R squared is 0.719. So we can feel confident that a lot of our these these independent variables is explaining a lot, much of the variation of the returns of our, of arc about 71.9 percent of that and now the most important part let's look at our coefficients our standard deviations our t statistics and our p values notice that the t st stats are very large for vcr um, has a negative relation with vdc vf vfh what is that so it has a negative arc has a negative relation with financials but more importantly, something that we have probably should have hypothesized before is ARC probably likes technology. And we can see it here, VGT, which is our technology fund. Let me just let's convert from that right here. So VGT is our information technology. So you notice that it has a strong T-stat, very large T-stat, um, and a very strong relationship with technology. So we can confirm that ARC does have, just like in some of the other videos, um, you know, it has a strong bias towards technology companies. It also has a strong bias, it seems, to consumer what is that VCR is consumer discretionary does it have a strong um, bias towards uh, healthcare it does it does all right cool so that's my quick video here on understanding arc and looking at the relationships of what type of stocks it does like to choose or invest in in our next video I actually want to look at other funds out there for example VTI which is the total US market and other value funds versus growth funds and really truly understand like what what is a growth company today and I would assume that we would hypothesize probably technology but is that true and also what are the value companies these days what are the stocks that are being um, over being sold off and not not entirely being bought by the market right now in terms of your price to earnings ratios what what are those companies and we'll see we'll determine that in the next video so if you like this video please subscribe till next time guys thanks